human in a world with no God. Okay, there is a God. How do you know your story is correct? How do you know your book is the right one? We can, we can actually explore the idea of this possibility, just like we explored. <laughs> right, so if there was a God, what do we expect? the nature the attributes of God this God be because how do we say this God exists in the first place this God has to be in existence eternity with no beginning first of all because if something exists now there has to be something always yeah so that creator if we now exist there's a creator don't know that, but sure. no. in this model now there's a creator cool. it is now rationally conclusible or con con conclude con how would, what, what, what do you say <laughs> No, no, something that you can conclude. Rationally, we can conclude. You can see how my English is. <laughs> Sometimes I'm stuck. We can rationally, only rationally conclude that that being, God, has to be eternal. Yes. It cannot be a being that is begun to exist at some point. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So an eternal here, being. Okay. Now, if a being exists eternally, yes. that being has to exist with maximal perfection. Would not be limited by any imperfection give an example to illustrate if that being has created this universe demonstrating this power and energy involved that being will be all powerful not be limited like I'm a limited power I can only do certain things no because if a being didn't exist there is nothing that restricts eternally that power that, you, that, that being the, the, the creator has so the the power that being will have will be unlimited absolute power Likewise, if that being has knowledge, will not be limited, not be bound, will be unlimited, all knowledgeable. Yes. So if you now use this example about the will, will be the will which will be absolute as well. Will of an almighty, which means if that being wishes something be and it will happen. Yes. There will be nothing restricting my, this feature. My question so, is not, how do you know in your faith? Why is yours the right one? Why yeah, is yeah. That the that's what I, that's, there, that's precisely that's, that's precisely the process that we are coming to okay. use. So now we realize if a being exists, that being must possess certain characteristics. Being the originator while not being originated has to be one. You cannot have more than one absolute. Okay, let me give you an example again. If we envisage somehow there could be two absolutes of nature, um, what's going to happen to our universe? Is this something that we can even think about? Suppose now there are two such gods. Two such gods. For the sake of argument, uh, we can say five, but let's start with two. And God number one and two, to make it simple. God wants, number one wants um, me to disappear from existence right now. All powerful God, I should be able to annihilate from existence. No, no. This is what God number one is capable of by definition, by conclusion. That if you exist eternally with all the power, then if you want to destroy something, you are capable of destroying. So God number one is able to destroy me from existence, right? Now, if you have another God, if you have another God who says, no, I want this horrible person to live another 50 years or so. Okay, but there are other religions have the exact same no, 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 let's understand. We, we, we are now trying to understand why there can only be one of such a being. If there were two beings, so God number two says, no, I want Mansur to be alive and well for another hundred years. What's going to happen? According to the definition, God number two is totally capable, totally able to keep me alive for another hundred years. But if there were multiple gods, that, that situation would not... Like, based on your version of what a god is, that situation would not happen. That would be totally in sync, totally perfect. No, no, no. Why? Like, it would no, but, be... Sorry, but, okay, but, 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 but the possibility could occur. Even if it didn't happen, if, even if they didn't... If they agreed that they would never disagree, the logical possibility will still be there that they could disagree, which yes. is a problem. And, and can I just add one point? If there's multiple God, if there's multiple God, this is, yeah. this is if there's multiple God, God which is eternal and all powerful, and this is inevitable that they remember when we say the creator, then 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 the deductive thinking tells you that when you create something you own it, you have ownership right. So now we see there's what we see. We see we see so we see, we see the homogeneous nature 
We see the homogeneous nature of the, of, of the, of the universe, the solar system, and how things moving, the order is moving. So if there's multiple God, that means each God, what they created, they have ownership. They would have taken, they would have taken away what they have created. So then, then therefore you'd have seen... Yes. Does, that, does that make sense though? Yeah, because this one God buys yours... No, okay. No, no, I want, okay. So, so logically and rationally, it makes sense to be one God. Okay. So why is this one God? Now, the version that we are presenting to you is actually a God who is the originator without being originated. Everlasting with no end. The one who is absolute, the one who is only and the one who is unique, has to be unique. And the one who doesn't have any lineage, because he won't be one anymore, there'll be more than one, or children, or any parentage where any, any parents and, 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 and forefathers okay, and for, so on. Yeah? For example, in um, Christianity, it's, it's all three in one. It's not multi, there is the sun. Does that, the, would that make sense though, three in one? No, because they are the same being. As well, the it's, same. Not, it's not really the same bearing. The, one of the things we come here in Speaker's Corner, as you realize, Audrey, we discuss this concept of Trinity, and you will find that um, actually I haven't met anyone who coherently has explained rationally. They will say, look, Trinity is not something that you should use your mind for. You should stick to the book, Revelation, because it's a mystery. Mystery car displays when something is obviously irrational. So Trinity cannot be rationally explained coherently at all. Yeah. Sure. So, so the, the when you I, said I can't, I, I won't be able to win this. No, it's not winning, you Audrey. Win Audrey this, if you think Audrey, because, if you think of Audrey, if you, if you if you think you'd be winning and losing, let's end the discussion here. This is true. We don't come here to win an argument. No, I am okay. Aware. I apologize if, if you thought. I, I do apologize sincerely to you, Audrey. If you ever felt this is about winning the argument over you, I think I'm gonna leave this conversation right now. Okay. Um, leave you th time to think. Yes. Okay. But what I will do is, because we did not finish our conversation, that our belief is Islam. Yes. We are Muslims, submit and surrender to the will of one true God. And this is what we would have called you to. But as I say, I'm, I'm leaving the conversation now. I would like you to, you know, read the Quran, the book of these Muslims. And then perhaps maybe one another day when you speak with another Muslim somewhere. Continue a discussion, Audrey. Continue a discussion. Is that okay? Sure. Um, nice talking to you. Thank you for um, talking to me. I hope you're um, happy in your religion. I hope, you're, I hope your God serves you well. I hope, that you're I hope God guides all of us, you and me, closer and closer to the truth. Take care.